Hey, this is Mike in the Film Lab on the Substream.com, and this is a Film Lab quickie. Sorry for the bad audio, first of all. We usually shoot stuff with professional mics, but today I'm shooting with a 60D, a DSLR, which is giving me a great picture with great depth of field. But it's not got very good audio inputs, and it's not, therefore, a perfect tool for, you know, independent filmmakers. Why am I using it then? Well, it's because I want to talk about something to do with all of that. And we've been talking about this Canon that Canon as a company has announced a couple of months ago, the C300, which is a Canon DSLR video sensor that can shoot really good looking video in a camera body that's more robust, that has XLR inputs, for example, and is thus a better solution for low budget filmmakers. And the interesting thing about the Canon is that it comes in two versions, the one that's got EF mount on the front of it and one that's got a PL mount on the front of it. You know, people are really excited about the fact that you can shoot these images with a robust camera using Canon EF lenses. And that's because a lot of us have a whole bunch of EF lenses kicking around. And there's a bunch of weird lenses that are relatively cheap. There's macro lenses, tilt shift lenses, there's fisheye zoom lenses that you can use to do really neat stuff that you can't normally do with say a box of Zeiss Primes that you would rent if you were shooting a standard Hollywood feature film. However, there's all kinds of actual technical drawbacks to shooting film or video with lenses like the EF mount lenses that aren't designed to shoot film or video, that are designed to shoot stills. One of those that's actually really easy to demonstrate is the idea of lens breathing. When you rack or pull focus on a lens that's not designed to shoot video or motion pictures, it can actually change the apparent focal length of the lens you're using. You know, I'll demonstrate, and I'm going to reach for the camera to pretend I'm going to shoot something that I already shot earlier, right now, as a transition. You ready? So now I'm shooting a rack or a pull focus from the back of the room to my computer using a prime lens, a 30 millimeter lens. So that's a fixed focal length lens, but as I rack focus, the actual composition of the image changes. You can pay attention to something that's on the edge of the frame, that red ping pong paddle, for example. You can see when focus is thrown to the back of the room, we can see all of the paddle, but when focus is pulled to the computer at the front of the room, we can only see half of the panel. That's because this lens is breathing a little bit. It's even worse on cheaper zoom lenses, like, for example, this 17 to 85 Canon zoom lens. Watch as I pull and rack focus at f4.5, for example, from the front of the room to the back. Holy mama jama, is that some ugliness. Now, how do you avoid this stuff if you do find yourself, you know, without the extra thousands of dollars necessary to get a camera that uses PL mount lenses? Well, one kind of cheap and easy way is to, every time you want to pull or rack focus, just disguise it with a camera move, like so. A lot of people won't know, unless they're smart and have watched a video like this one, what lens breathing actually is. So if you move during a focus pull, you can trick them. It's a neat trick to get around a really common problem that's plaguing a lot of people who are shooting videos and shooting movies on lenses that weren't necessarily built for that purpose. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed the quickie. Bye!